Now, if I said PLC amplifier, really nobody outside of QSC would have any idea of what I'm talking about. But PLC was our internal name for an amplifier platform that was the basis for a range of amplifiers uh, that we have sold for years to the installation, the portable sound reinforcement, and the cinema markets. But the PLC platform resulted was really one of the first reliable, affordable, and comprehensive lines of power amplifiers using switch, switching type power supplies combined with a linear output. Uh, at the time that these were done, stable, high power switching power supplies were cutting edge technology and a lot of amplifier manufacturers had struggled with them. Now, uh, Pat Quilter and his team combined these supplies with a highly refined linear output section and the result was a range of amplifiers that even to this day uh, remains a leader in terms of low noise, low distortion, thermal performance, and the ability to deliver high continuous power. Now because PLC shared internal commonalities uh, across a wide range of products from multiple markets, we were able to take advantage of uh, purchasing quantities for the components that we use to build them. We were also able to actually basically build an assembly line around these amplifiers, an assembly line that allowed us to start with a bare circuit board, put a tag on it that said what this circuit board is going to be when it ends up at the other end of the line, and uh, build amplifiers it, it, on very rapid turnaround. In some instances, we would get calls from, uh, from system integrators who are unable to get amplifiers from the supplier they had initially picked, we were actually able to build amplifiers on our line in a matter of, of a few days and meet the demands that these competitors were unable to make because of the flexibility inherent in the way we build them. Uh, in these instances, we actually uh, joke about uh, these are amplifiers where the solder is cooling while they're on the truck on the way to the customer. So once we had this basic PLC platform, we were able to quickly spin variations on it. So it ended up in our PL, our PL3 and our PLX amplifiers for the portable market, in our CX amplifiers for the installation market, as well as in our DCA amplifiers for the cinema market. So what have we been doing since PLC? Well, uh, of course, we've, been, we've developed other amplifiers. Our GX series amplifiers have for quite some time been leaders in the uh, retail side of the portable sound reinforcement market. And I would be remiss in uh, my remarks if I failed to mention the fact that we have been selling a whole lot of amplifiers uh, uh, carefully disguised as loudspeakers and called K and KW series. You may have, may have heard a little bit of something about that. But most importantly, something I want to talk about is that our next generation amplifier platform really had to be something remarkable in order to uh, uh, be a worthy successor to the PLC platform that uh, has done so well for us for all this time. And developing that takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of hard work by a lot of smart people. But we believe that the result of that work is a truly remarkable amplifier platform that begins right now with the products we're introducing here. And I'm going to bring up a couple of the gentlemen who, a couple of the real smart gentlemen who have been working on those real hard for a while, Dale Sandberg and Matt Scogmo. Thank you. Let's go ahead, then, Dale. Ta -da. Drum roll, please. <laughs> there we go. Well, we are we are very excited to to introduce these new products, and these are the PLD and CXD amplifier families uh, from QSC. As we went about developing these new products, of course, the things that the things that we started with was we spoke with our customers and found out exactly what they what they were looking for. And so, from the the production markets, the performance PA retail. Um, sound and so forth. We, we spoke with a number of customers and came up with a list of, of key requirements that they that they were looking for: high power, you know, a lightweight, uh, simple to operate, um, flexible, and and so forth. We did a similar thing again with the installation, the um, system integrators, and and they too had 
uh, similar but somewhat different uh, requirements. Uh, you know, they did want a multi-channel platform. Um, they, they, you know, wanted high power density. Uh, weight wasn't such an issue for them, but they wanted high efficiency. And, uh, you know, uh, being able to, to drive the, the loudspeaker loads and, and really reduce the, the amount of uh, current from the wall. And so these are, um, these are the products that came out of that development effort, and it was a major development effort. Um, and uh, we're, we're very excited to introduce the PLD and the CXD uh, families. Now, the, they are both three amplifiers in each family, the PLD 4.2, 4.3, and 4.5 with power up to 5,000 watts, and then the CXD 4.2, 4.3, and 4.5 up to 5,000 watts. They have some very unique features and uh, um, something that truly make them, uh, I use the word unique, let me see, I need, I need my thesaurus. They're, they're just very exciting because they, they have incredible capabilities. Uh, I'm gonna talk about four different elements uh, to these products, but there are, there are many more. And so please, after, after the discussion today, um, we would be very happy to take your questions and, uh, or, or maybe do some one-on-one -on -one, uh, discussions uh, about these products. The first thing that I want to speak about is um, our, our FAST, uh, Flexible Amplifier Summing Technology. This is a, a technology where we can take the entire um, uh, power supply essentially, and then uh, drive the, the various outputs in, in a number of flexible ways. So, so I can have a four channel amp, or it could be a three channel amp, or a two channel amp, or one channel amp, and, and uh, provide all of that uh, output power to, to each of those outputs as needed. Now just a little bit of basics on amplifiers. I'm, I'm sure most of you already know this, but uh, uh, an amplifier is really capable um, a, a single channel amplifier is really bounded, I should say, by, by two different limitations. The current, which is the line on the left, the red line, and the voltage, which is the blue uh, line on the right. And then the, the area under the curve is the actual power of the amplifier. And you can see that, um, it, and, and then the, along the bottom axis of the graph, we've got impedance. And so you can see there's kind of a sweet spot, and then towards the edges, um, you have, uh, you know, uh, decreased power capability at uh, low and high impedance. Most amplifiers allow you, or a lot of amplifiers allow you to bridge. And essentially you're, you run two channels, you combine two channels, and you get double the voltage. Um, but as you can see, you actually don't get any additional power to the low impedances. I mean, that's generally how it works. What we can do with the PLD and CXD amplifiers is we can combine these channels in parallel as well. And so what it means is you can get extra power at low impedances, and you see that on the left-hand side of the, of the graph. Now, not only can we combine two channels in parallel, but we can even combine three, which is very unique, and four channels together in parallel. Again, reinforcing and, and increasing the amount of current and power that you can put into those, uh, into those low impedance outputs. And then on top of that, you could take two channels in parallel and another two channels in parallel and bridge those together for a bridge parallel combination. And that gives you exceptional amounts of power. And the cool thing is that it is in the, it, it's in the um, very desirable four to eight ohm impedance range where most loudspeakers kind of you know, live. Um, now all, all amplifiers are, are you know, uh, the other uh, boundary condition, I guess, is their, what their power supply can provide. And so you see on the graph, um, this is what the PLD and CXD truly can provide. Um, and uh, it, it's very unique and very exciting for us. So with uh, what we're calling FAST or, or Flexible Amplifier Summing Technology, it provides a completely unique and different way of providing output power for various loads. And we see that being um, a, a new technology and something that, that we're quite excited about. Now, uh, in addition, these amplifiers, so this is kind of our second uh, product feature, we've got DSP on board. And there's a lot of amplifiers out now that have DSP on board. Um, one of the things that we have done is we've actually put loudspeaker tunings into the amplifiers and the, and the user can call those up as part of a preset. 
Um, that in and of itself is, is not necessarily all that new and unique. What we, what we have done in addition to that is we've also provided our own um, intrinsic correction parameters. So FIR filters and, and other um, uh, loudspeaker tuning uh, parameters are there that maximize the performance of the loudspeakers. To make an amplifier uh, perform to make the amplifiers perform the way we wanted to, we had to develop some new technologies. And so this, uh, uh, Matt worked with a couple of companies and developed a new output device, a new MOSFET. Um, and uh, um, these essentially, you can see on the right hand side, that's the actual um, uh, device before it's been uh, potted. And it integrated six different power um, integrated circuits into a single output device, providing the flexibility and the output that we needed. And, it, and essentially, it gave us high power with low heat and low noise. And those are the critical things that you want to achieve with the power amplifier. Another thing that we spent a lot of time on was the user interface. As I mentioned before, there's a lot of amplifiers out there that have DSP on board, but most of them are very, very difficult to use to access those parameters and to actually use the, the signal processing that's on board. Um, what we did was we maybe took a step aside, and now for something completely different, we went outside the industry and we got some user industry, uh, some user interface experts, um, and they helped us design the, the user interface and really tried to maximize the, uh, the performance and the simplicity, the intuitiveness of the of the user interface. Now there's a lot of products out there that provide a certain level of flexibility, but oftentimes with that flexibility comes uh, complexity. We really wanted to simplify the user interface, and so what we did was we developed this preset wizard. And, and again, these uh, um, user interface experts, this is where they really uh, came into their own and, 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 and were able to shine. And so using just a, a handful of screens, we help the user through the process of selecting the preset. They can select the impedance of their loudspeaker, the power that they want to, and then if they're, you know, whatever speakers they're driving, they can just select them from the wizard, and it will automatically load the speaker tuning parameters, saving them a lot of time and effort, and essentially creating the, the preset for their, for their application. And so to, to just kind of summarize, so this is the PLD um, designed uh, as, as I started with for the production live sound market. And you can see it's got XLRs, NL4s, you know, a, a very lightweight platform at just over 20 pounds. Um, you know, front panel control along with a front panel lockout for the rental applications. Um, locking IEC connectors and a, and a host of other features for, designed for that, to, for that market. And then also the CXD. Um, that, that has you know, life safety compliant features, um, 70 and 100 volt direct drive, uh, GPIO on board, and, and a number of other uh, features available for that, for that market. And so with that, um, and, and obviously the amplifiers up front here, we're, um, you know, we're, we're very excited about this product, the, these products, these families, and uh, um, you know, ready to take it to the next level with those. And so, at this point, you know, I've got Matt here with me, and he's been, he's kind of the, the stoic guy off to the side. Um, but to, we, would, we would be happy to entertain any questions you have at this time, or, or you know, if, if you want to move on, we can, there are other products that we, we have to show as well. George. How far are these out in terms of, like, uh, availability? We begin shipping in July. Excellent. <laughs> 